our findings are shining a little bit different light on early history of photography than it was described in literature. Remember that everything what we have done for the first time is based on scientific, scientific data. Through scientific means, we can see into the darkroom procedures which Nieps was using, and we are trying to even understand why he selected a different photographic processes, what his thinking behind this experimentation was. What really makes uh, the work of Nieps really, really special is that Nieps was the really the first photographer. And I'm saying the first photographer because he produced the first photograph in a, still in existence, which was also stabilized so that it didn't change uh, by exposure to light. So he was able to make the whole process from light sensitive plate or exposure or to the camera and also developing and fixing the image for the for the future so this was the, the first example of successful photographic photographic process what makes me very excited about the whole uh, experience is everything what we do even that camera uh, which is used to make this interview is the product of the first photograph. Everything what we do, all the photography, all the film, television, even games, everything today is 3D television. Everything goes back in history to that single moment in 1826 uh, when Nieps took camera, uh, put it out to the window and took that first photograph. So this is almost a magical moment to think about it, how much, uh, even pe when people don't realize it, is connected with that single image which, uh, and those other images which are here in the museum.